it's Abby back here today for another live stream. Uh, my name is Abby Andrew. I do regular live streams here every other Friday. Um, and I always come here to talk about things like obviously uh, wearing wigs as a day-to-day -day wig wearer as someone with alopecia. Um, and I've had alopecia since the age of two, so I just like to come in here and share my insight with you guys. Today's topic is something that is pretty relevant for the upcoming months. So today's topic is going to be all about traveling with wigs different tips and tricks that I have, um, great things to bring with you, what I personally like to do, um, so it's a motorcycle passing by my window, um, and of course if you have any questions at any time feel free to comment them below and I would love to answer all of them as I go. Uh, I have a little list here so I'm going to try to hit all the main topics that um, questions I've either heard in the past um, from my own YouTube channel. I think I've made at least one or two videos about traveling with wigs before. Um, so I'm going to try to share all my favorite tips and trips, tricks for that, as well as any frequently asked questions that I've heard. Starting with one of the biggest ones that I think is a concern for people who are pretty new to wearing wigs, um, and that is going through TSA uh, wearing wigs at the airport. So some people just aren't really sure about if you are wearing a wig at the airport, if they're going to ask you to take it off, um, if it's if it doesn't match the picture on your passport, if they're going to ask you questions that are uncomfortable. Um, and I guess everyone's like crazy big fear about that. If they are newer to wigs and aren't comfortable taking their wig off in front of other people or having them know about it, is uh, the biggest fear is there, that TSA is going to tell them to take their wig off in front of everybody. So in my experience, that has never happened. Um, usually it does not even come up, which is really nice. I usually just show them my passport. Even in my passport picture, I think I have a short blonde wig on in the photo. Um, I think I'm actually wearing my Cody in the photo and I'll show up wearing any other wig and they don't really question it. And I think the reason for that is because typically people change their hairstyles so often in day-to-day -day life. Hi everyone joining. Um, hi, hello, Harry, Harry. Thanks for joining and watching. Um, so yeah, people change their hairstyles so often anyway that I feel like TSA agents are very used to that. Um, they probably don't even realize it's a wig a lot of times because what they're really looking for is to make sure the other information on your passport is accurate um, and your face looks the same. So yeah, so typically wigs aren't really an issue. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't worry about that. And if for some reason, if someone at TSA did ask you to um, take off your wig or something, if they realized it was a wig, First of all, I don't think you need to offer up this information. It usually doesn't even come up. I've never had any issues. But if for some reason it does come up, I'm sure you could ask them for privacy. Maybe they can take you to another area where you can take it off discreetly and show them. But that is something that I think is just a fear that um, people have that doesn't actually really happen often. So I just wanted to ease everyone's mind about that right off the bat. So now I'm going to get into the packing aspect of traveling with wigs. So back in the day, I used to only wear one hairstyle because I was very private about my alopecia, so I never changed my wigs. So in that case, like if you're trying to like kind of keep it um, like a discreet thing, then obviously you're probably only going to bring one wig with you. But in that case, I would just make sure you have all of the supplies you would need to care for the wig, like a wig brush, uh, maybe a wig stand. Then I'll show you a couple options for those things in a minute. But now that I am more open about changing up wigs all the time, it is so much fun for me to change up my style drastically on a day-to-day -day basis. And literally, I'm not even exaggerating when I say for a weekend trip that's like two days long, I will end up bringing like three or four wigs with me, <laughs> especially if it's a fun trip where I'm going to be like going out at night with friends. I love to change up my style. So quickly, I'm going to go over the types of different styles I like to bring with me, even if I'm just going on a weekend trip. So in my typical wig wardrobe, I tend to have like a daily go-to wig that I just like to wake up and put on and not have to like think about because sometimes uh, it's so hard to choose what wig you want to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I like to have just my regular go-to wig. For me right now, that's the one I'm wearing, uh, which is Tatum from the Amore Collection. I love this style because it's so easy. You just throw it on and don't really have to do anything to it. And short styles, I find, just don't tangle super easily. So it's just so nice to just put it on and go. So typically if I'm traveling, I'll probably wear my go-to wig that day. But I also love to bring different colors and styles with me so I can change it up as I go. Especially if you are wearing synthetic wigs, since you can't use any like heating tools on them or anything, um, if it's a standard synthetic wig, it's nice to bring with you a curly wig. Uh, so for example, another wig that I would bring with me 100% if I was going on a trip this weekend, um, 
Now, of course, this is like something that, so this is a video that I'm making for like long term. I know this isn't necessarily something um, people are going to be using right away, but it is something that a lot of people ask me about, which is why I wanted to talk about these things. So this wig, for example, is my Tatum by Amore, um, straight, simple style, but if I wanted to go for a more fun color, I love wearing bright, fun, colorful wigs. So this wig is fun because um, awesome color. When you, if you get this wig, uh, it comes wavy like this, but a really cool thing about this wig as well is that it is um, heat friendly synthetic. So if you are traveling and you want to pack a little bit lighter, um, it is nice to have heat friendly synthetic because you can do a lot with just one wig and one style. So that's a lot of fun. This, uh, this wig is Envious from the Orchid Collection in the color Royal Emerald. So let me put this on for a minute just so you guys can see that. So yeah, I love bringing like my go-to wig, of course, which is typically more of a standard color. Um, and then when I'm going on a trip, I love to bring other drastically different styles just to switch it up while I am away. So I love wearing fun, bright colors like this one. So this wig color is so awesome. <laughs> it just makes me look automatically like a different person. And again, because this is a heat friendly synthetic, it is really nice if you are packing a little bit lighter. If you want to bring a um, some sort of heating tool to change it, you can straighten it out if you want to and have a different look and still only be uh, using the same wig. I do love this style so much. I'm in love with it. I love like the, the length, the waves, and this color is just like astonishing. Um, now, another wig that I probably bring with me is, let's say, I'm just bringing three wigs. I'll bring my standard go-to wig, a fun color, and then I do like to, I typically wear shorter wigs on a day-to-day -day basis, but I love longer wigs for when I'm trying to get a little bit more dressed up. So this is the gorgeous Angela wig. This is the color Champagne R. Um, and this is from the Alexander Couture collection, um, one of the newer collections from the Rene of Paris lines, um, designed by Alexander Turnbull, obviously one of our other um, social media spokespeople here on the social media family at Rene of Paris. So this wig is so fun. I just feel so glamorous when I'm wearing longer hairstyles. So if I am traveling and I'm going to be going out uh, with friends at night or something, it is fun to have a longer style for that reason. Also so fun. Now if I was wearing this wig, I would love to uh, spice it up a little with like maybe darker eye makeup or something, but it's just such a fun, gorgeous style. Now, especially for longer wigs, it's nice to be able to um, put them on a wig stand or something when you're traveling, which isn't always easy because if you have like a foam wig head, they can be hard to travel with. But there are some great solutions for if you want to bring a wig stand with you on the go. So Rene of Paris has a couple of these stands that you can use. Like this one is so great. You could just lie it flat on your bag. And then when you're ready to use it, all you have to do is set it up like this. Hold on. I just got this recently, so I'm still getting used to how to work it, but it's super simple. You just slide it together like that, and then you could just place it on your desk, and then you have something nice and easy to place your wigs on when you arrive, like so. Um, so there's that one here, and there's this one as well. This one is great also because these two parts here, they do collapse and lie flat in your bag as well, which is nice and then you just put them together and add this little loop. So when this is in your bag, it's completely flat and very small and easy to travel with. This one especially I think is super easy to travel with. Um, and this one is as well, but I feel like this would take up slightly more space in your bag, but this one is just so easy. Um, and then it's nice because if you are, I'll show you different ways that I store my wigs when I'm traveling, but it is nice when you first get there to be able to take your wigs out, um, put them on display, let them kind of like air out and stuff after being in your bag while traveling, be able to see what you have on your counter, and it's just really nice and easy like that. So now I'm going to show you a couple of the ways I do pack my wigs when I am traveling. So um, if you do want to have a really nice carrying case, Renee of Paris does have this awesome wig uh, luxury travel bag, Renee of Paris. So let's say I was trying to store this wig here uh, one thing you can do to kind of preserve the style when you're traveling, if you turn it inside out, it just helps keep everything 
um, nice and together and protected while you're traveling. And then you can go ahead and put it in your bag. Like so. Uh, if you have like a net or something, it's nice to be able to put the hair net on it as well. And then it's cool because it has this little top pouch here if you want to store. Oh, it's a pause due to poor connection. I think I'm back now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. So if you wanted to put any brushes or combs, you could also put them in the top storage pouch. Now this definitely isn't necessary, but it is really, really nice to have um, if you're traveling, just to make sure everything is all together. You could just zip this up, carry it with a little handle, and it's super easy. But I also like to do it the super simple method, um, which is also super affordable, obviously, is just using a um, plastic Ziploc bag if I'm traveling. I'll do the same thing. Uh, take the wig, turn it inside out just to make sure everything is protected. I, I do tend to keep the hairnets that the wigs um, come in in their box. And if I had that with me, I would just put that around as well just to make sure everything is nice and together and put it in the Ziploc bag like so. Another great tip is if you make sure if you have a little hole puncher or you can just poke a little hole through the bag like this here. That's really helpful because then when you zip it up, you can make sure you get all the air out when you're traveling so it's not taking up too much space in your bag. And it's just as simple as that. And if there is a little space to write the name of the wig, I tend to write the name of the wig with a Sharpie as well. And then that way when you're pulling everything out, you see exactly what you have to work with. And then as soon as you get there, you can take out your stands, set this up. This will lie completely flat in your bag when it's disassembled. Put them on your dresser, wherever you're staying. If you're in a hotel or something, just set that up on your stand. And then place your wigs out. You can start to det detangle them. I'll show you a couple of uh, brushes and stuff that I like to travel with as well. And then that way you just see everything you have to work with. And once you set them up on your counter, they can start to like air out. Um, and if they do get kind of uh, slightly flattened in the bag you're traveling with or something, this is a nice way to just get them back in shape. As soon as you get there, just take them out of their bags and everything. So uh, let me show you a couple other things I like to travel with. Of course, you want to bring a wig brush that is a necessity because when you get there, um, obviously in, in traveling, the hair might get like slightly tangled. So it's great to have different brushes. So I like to have this brush is a really great one. This is so easy to just throw in your bag and it's nice because it folds. So it takes up very little space. You can use the little tail here to like detangle and style the hair. Um, obviously, I don't want to go too much into detail about the different um, brushes because Alexander just made a video on the Instagram if you want to go look at our page after this, I think on the IGTV, all about different wig brushes and combs. So that's a super helpful video. Um, he goes over all the different, like the different wide tooth combs and brushes and so on. But you definitely want to bring at least one thing. If you can, it's nice to have a brush and a comb, but um, just as long as you bring at least one tool to detangle your wigs. Uh, typically you don't want to use just any brush for your wigs. Alexander talks about all those details in that video, so go check that out on the IGTV. Um, someone asked me to put on a different wig. I think you were talking about this wig here. Um, this is the one I was wearing in the beginning. This is my Tatum from Amore in, I think this is in dark chocolate. The one I was just wearing was Angela from the Alexander Couture collection in Champagne R. So as you can see, like these three wigs are ones that I will absolutely travel with on one trip. They're so drastically different, but I like changing my hairstyle that much um, and like that drastically on a regular basis. So um, that is a perfect example of three wigs that I would bring with me on a trip because I like changing my look up that much. So I have like my short one for an everyday look for just for something easy to throw on. I like a long style that's just a little bit more glamorous. And then of course a fun color like the Envious in uh, Royal Emerald that I showed before. Another great tip I have if you are traveling with wigs is sometimes if you do have a wig that's a little bit older, um, it is nice to bring an older wig um, just to bring with you, let's say you're going to the beach or something and it's going to be really windy and you're gonna be getting like sand and stuff in your wig. It's nice to have an older style that you don't really care if anything happens to it. Um, likewise, if you're sitting at the pool or if you're going hiking or exercising, it's nice to have just a older wig for that purpose. Definitely not 100% necessary, but I do like to have that for certain types of trips that I go on. And another thing that I will say uh, for people who have alopecia like I do, when I'm going to any sort of like pool or beach destination, I always love to have some sort of hat because let's say I'm sitting at the beach, um, it's just nice to have something to put on your head um, that isn't a wig as well. So. 
I like to have just a basic hat or the, um, the Christine headwear pieces are always fantastic for this as well because they're so soft on your head. Some of them are UV protective as well. So um, there's just these really, really nice turbans. So let me show you this one I have here. It's a gorgeous color. Uh, this is in the style Lotus Turban. This is the Lotus Turban. Very gorgeous, very, very soft as well. So it's really nice on a bald head. And this is just something that's nice for um, if you don't feel like wearing a wig on a certain day or if you are um, sitting on the beach, it's nice to have something to put on your head to protect from the sun or the elements. And likewise, it's nice to have it in the winter as well. If you don't want to wear a wig on a certain day, it's nice to have just something to put on your head to keep warm. Um, because sometimes just going out with a bald head in the winter can be a little bit cold, as you guys probably know if you do wear wigs as well. So I would definitely recommend bringing like a hat or some sort of Christine headwear turban like these. Just really, really nice to have when you are traveling as an alternative to wearing a wig. Also, uh, it's a really great tip to bring travel size shampoo and conditioner. You never know when you're going to need it. Even on a short trip, it's really, really helpful because let's say you are going to the beach one day, like I was saying before, and you do get all sorts of sand and stuff in your hair, or I mean, you're not gonna get a ton of sand in your hair, but like, I feel like the wind at the beach just kind of like, sometimes you wanna wash that out afterwards. So it's nice to have an emergency shampoo for traveling. These do come in travel sizes, which is great for if you're traveling. Um, and there's restrictions on what you can bring. If you're able, um, I think this comes in travel size as well, but the, uh, I'm not sure about that, but if you are able to bring um, the Revive as well, that's a really nice option to have. That's great for wavy styles like the Envious wig, because this is great for, let's say the waves get a little bit tangled up or like flattened in transit. All you have to do is just spray some of this in the hair and then kind of just shape it with your fingers and that helps kind of help the curls bounce back a little bit. I'm gonna put this wig back on again because this one is just so fun. I love this color so much. Okay. I wish I had like a little suitcase here that I could show like an example of how I would pack, but I'll kind of do that on an imaginary level here and just kind of walk you through exactly what I would do if I was packing a bag right now or going on a trip or something. Okay, so... I'll just keep this wig on for now because it is so much fun, but typically I would just wear whichever my go-to wig is while traveling. So like I said, I like to have a fun color wig, a shorter standard everyday wig that I like to wear, and then a longer wig to keep it more glam. So the first thing I would probably do is pack all these wigs. So we have the options of just a very, very simple Ziploc bag. What I would do is take the wig, turn it inside out, just nice and gently. Maybe kind of tuck the hair inside just so it's protected by the wig cap on the outside. Um, and then if you do have a net, you can put that over the wig as well. And just for a really, really simple option, all you have to do is put it in your Ziploc bag. It's nice if you poke a small hole in the Ziploc bag because then when you close it up, I have like, there we go. Um, when you close it up, it's just really easy to make sure it lies nice and flat. So when you put it in your bag, it's not taking up a ton of space. So it's just a really small item that you can add to your bag just to have another fun style to bring with you. And then again, like I showed you guys before, if you do have a little bit more space for traveling, it is nice to put them in this luxury wig box. So let's pretend I'm packing again as well. Let's take the, uh, this is the Angela wig again from the Alexander Couture collection. With a longer wig like this, you can turn it inside out, take the longer part of the hair, just tuck it inside the wig cap. And then it's really just nice and confined inside the wig cap. So it's not getting all tangled and crushed and like knocked around in the bag. It's just really nice and confined and protected inside um, like so. And you can just go ahead. And if you are traveling with uh, the, the travel bag like this, you could just put that inside. Okay, and then there's this whole other top compartment, which is great as well for storing all sorts of combs and brushes. So I'll just bring a, a comb like this one. 
nice wooden comb, which is great for anti-static. Put that right in the top. And then this brush here, which just folds up nice and neatly. Put that in the top. This actually can fit a lot. Like it's a pretty small compartment, but it's deeper than it looks and it's nice and wide. So you can fit all sorts of brushes and combs in there. And let's see if these fit. So I have the, um, what is this here? There is the travel size shampoo, which is nice. Let's see if that fits. Yep, that totally fits right in the top of the travel case. And then this is a travel size holding spray, which by the way is also great for if you um, just want to keep the style held in place. It's like a, a wig hairspray. So let's zip that up now. So that is just a super simple option because then you can just carry this as like a little carry-on or something. It's almost like a little purse, super lightweight and easy. Put the wigs in the bottom part um, and then just put any sort of supplies you want in the top. Super simple like that. And then that way it's hard to really forget anything because it's all just right here. Fantastic option. Um, and again, definitely recommend bringing some sort of hat or turban or something like this, like this one from Christine Headwear, because it is really nice to put that on your head. Let's say you just don't feel like wearing a wig on a certain day while you're traveling. It's just a really, really nice alternative, nice and soft. Or if um, a lot of times, sometimes in the winter, if I'm not wearing a wig and I'm indoors and I'm home, my head will get chilly. So I'll tend to just put something on like this just to keep warm. Um, and again, it's great for beach days and uh, chillier days in the winter if you don't feel like wearing a wig. I like that for beach days because sometimes if you're at the beach and you have alopecia and you want to go swimming and you want to take off your wig to swim, it's a little bit less shocking to people around you if you take off a hat and you're bald rather than like if you're at the beach and you take off your wig, everyone's like, oh my goodness, did she just take her hair off? <laughs> Those are just concerns that are kind of mostly in your head because no one's really looking at you that closely, but it is just kind of funny when if someone happens to be looking in your direction and you just take off your hair, sometimes people are like, oh, didn't expect that. <laughs> so sometimes it's a little bit um, easier to just be able to take off a hat instead because then it's not as shocking to anyone that might be watching or anything like that. Um, and I think that's pretty much all the points that I was going to mention. If anyone has any questions, definitely leave them in the comments here and I will address them. Um, some other things you can bring with you are, let's say you do have a human hair wig or a heat-friendly synthetic wig like this one. Again, this is Envious and Royal Emerald. It is nice to have some heating tools with you if you do want to style them when you're traveling. So let's say you're bringing wigs and you want to be able to change the style a lot. Um, it is great to bring multiple wigs. So sometimes if I bring multiple wigs, I'll bring ones like the ones I showed you. And then it's so easy to change up your style because all you have to do is take off one wig and put on another. But if you are trying to travel a little bit more lightly and you only want to bring one wig, maybe two, then a human hair wig is a great option if you have one because you can style that wig a little bit more extensively. Or if you don't have a human hair wig, heat friendly synthetic is also great for that as well. So this one is heat friendly. So if I was to bring just a straightening iron or if you're traveling to visit a friend or something that already has a straightening iron, then you can just bring the one wig and then style it different ways as you so please. And then you can just have lots of different fun styles to work with. But I'm someone that definitely likes to bring multiple wigs with me because not only do I like to change my wig styles day to day, I also love to change um, wig colors day to day. <laughs> so I do like having um, my options. Just checking if there's any questions. I'm trying to make sure I didn't um, miss any other points. Um, but I think I hit everything. Again, uh, things like traveling through TSA usually isn't an issue for me. Um, I've never run into any problems like that. Comment below if you have. I'd love to hear your stories and stuff. But personally, um, they're just checking so many people all at once. If your hair is slightly different, they're so used to it because they see people dyeing their hair all the time. When they're looking at your passport, they're really just looking for your face to look the same and not your hair necessarily. Um, so again, yeah, if I am packing a bag, Obviously, I want to have the wig, travel size shampoo, conditioner, whatever else you want to bring with you, maybe a travel size hairspray. Definitely remember to bring a brush or a comb. I highly recommend bringing some sort of hat or turban like the Christine Headwear piece I showed you before, because that's really nice as an option if you don't feel like wearing a wig on a given day or going to the beach or something like that. Sometimes if I forget to bring that, it can be a little bit of a pain. Um, so just uh, if you are able to bring it with you, it is a great option. And then, of course, the collapsible stands are so useful because then once you get there, these lie completely flat when you break them down. So it's like this um, when it's set up. 
And it's so easy to set up, then to dismantle it, you just take off this little top piece. And then you just separate these pieces here. Uh, and once you collapse that, it's just really nice and easy to put in your bag. It'll lie completely flat. And likewise, this piece as well. So um, these separate. And then just like that, you can just lie that on the top of your suitcase, wherever you're traveling with, and it's just nice and easy. Um, it's not 100% necessary to bring a sort of wig head or wig form when you're traveling, but it is just a really nice option to have because then you can just set up your wigs, get them all um, nice, and just uh, bring the life back into them after they've been like in a bag for so long. Um, and it's just nice to be able to style them like that when you are traveling. The wig case, the bag, and of course the brushes. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, I hope this did help you guys get some tips for if you are traveling with wigs and want to pack anything. Definitely leave a comment on this video if you have any other questions or any other tips you would like to add. Um, that's the really great thing about uh, interacting with other people with alopecia or other wig wearers on social media is that it is really great to be able to exchange different tips and tricks. So these are the things that I tend to do when I'm traveling. So if you have any other additional tips or advice or things that you tend to do, definitely comment them below because it's fun to exchange that sort of information. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing weekend. Bye guys.